The new inflation numbers for April are higher than expected. We're keeping you up to date on inflation because we know how impactful inflation is on retirement savers. When you retire, you're not out there working, earning new money. You're dependent on the purchasing power of your retirement savings to maintain your lifestyle. We'd like you to keep that in mind as we review the April inflation numbers. Inflation barreled ahead at 8.3% in April from a year ago, remaining near 40-year highs. The inflation numbers remain big. And this is yet another example of how mainstream economists often get the inflation numbers wrong. The Consumer Price Index accelerated 8.3% in April, more than the 8.1% estimate and near the highest level in more than 40 years. Not just the overall number was higher than expected. Removing volatile food and energy prices, so-called core CPI still rose 6.2% against expectations for a 6% gain, clouding hopes that inflation had peaked in March. And the expected numbers continue to be wrong, as the month-over-month -month gains also were higher than expectations. 0.3% on headline CPI versus the 0.2% estimate and a 0.6% increase for core against the outlook for a 0.4% gain. This is significant, as the Fed stated for the majority of last year that inflation was transitory and recently thought that inflation had peaked. Their perspective remains wrong. We're not surprised. If you have attended any of our web conferences over the last year or been watching our videos, we've been on target with where we have seen inflation going. I believe global issues have not let up and we will likely continue to see inflation pressures as this Fortune article points out. Companies are beginning to panic. Experts say China's lockdowns will make inflation and supply chain nightmare even worse. The April CPI numbers could put pressure on the Fed to remain hawkish as they keep trying to put downward pressure on inflation by continuing to raise interest rates more aggressively. We've seen how recent interest rate hikes have impacted assets, so it may be wise to brace yourself for what could happen when they raise rates more. I'd like to point out that as expected, gold and silver rose on the inflation news, with gold rising 1.1% and silver rising 2.47% within the past 24 hours. We will keep an eye on inflation because we know it's important to you. So check back often for more updates. Hey guys, Joe Montana here with my man Devlin Steele. He and his team at Augusta Precious Metals are constantly putting out new information to keep you ahead of the game. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.